Hey, what you doing? Building a computer on carpet. Uh, why are you doing that? Because the internet says I can't. Oh, okay. So, I've actually been at this for a little while now. I just decided to make a video. Um, I got a little sick and tired of how big the computer that I was using for the simulator rig was. And uh, as you can see, I took the monitor off the rig over there. And now I'm making a home theater PC out of the same components and putting it in a Node 605. So yeah, the issue here is the 605 does not support water cooling at all. Um, in fact, it also only supports coolers up to about 130-ish millimeters. And this cooler is actually 141 millimeters, but it still has plenty of room on top before it hits the top of the case. So we have enough downdraft here. But I'm using the Gemini, what is this? The uh, S524 downdraft, which is kind of neat, because as you can see, it overhangs on top of the VRM. Or you could flip it around the other way and have it overhang on the RAM. Um, but it's on top of the VRM, and uh, it will help cool the VRM. In fact, I had it going in the other way, and I was like, oh, I need low profile RAM. So I went down to the shop and grabbed my low profile RAM, but since I flipped it around the other way now, I can actually go back to my, my um, other vengeance and not have to use my low profile. And now we can go back to 16 gigs of 1866 because no home theater PC is complete without 16 gigabytes of 1866. Jay's a dickle. You'll never know when you need a Photoshop on the home theater rig. The power supply here is going to be so overkill. It's a V1200. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a 1200 watt power supply in a home theater PC. But I got to get these two fans on right here. Um, it comes with two of these. This isn't a review, guys. I've actually had this case for like a year. Um, Fractal sent to me over a year ago, and I'm just now getting around to doing a home theater build. But it comes with two of the Silent Series R2 fans. Um, one of them is pre installed with this. That way, your power supply fan or power supply cables don't get jammed up in the fan. So that's kind of neat. They're so thoughtful. And then I had two more of these from another fractal case that I reviewed, and I'm going to fill in the other slot. So we have two 120 millimeter intakes. Um, actually, I guess I can't do that now that I think about it because I'm an idiot. The power supply is going to pull air from right here. So I can only do one intake and two exhaust. Well, that so won't be that bad. It means I'm going to have negative pressure, which is going to cause a dust issue. Maybe I'll have this one down here being exhaust, and I'll have the two on the top being intake. So I've got positive pressure right here on top of the cooler. Um, and then. I don't have 80 millimeter fans, but there are two 80 millimeter fans that can go right there. And then I'll probably have my power supply pull air from inside here instead of outside. That way it can kind of help balance out that that pressure. I don't know. Sounds like a bold move. People let's, tend to... Let's see how it plays out. <laughs> I know. How does that mic sound though right now while you're listening to it while recording? Yeah, it sounds pretty good. I can hear me. Jeez, suddenly you start screaming. <laughs> see what happens if I put headphones on? But when I'm just talking normal, you can hear me. It doesn't sound all crazy echoey. Yeah, yeah. I sound far away until I'm like right here. No, just talk to the side of it. Like point it at you and talk. Pointing it. Oh, oh wow, I'm loud. Yeah, because of the fucking mic. Oh, God. If you guys can't tell, we're playing around with the new Sennheiser MKE 440, which is a stereo shotgun mic. It's got two shotgun mics on top of it. Like this. <laughs> Stop throwing gang signs. <laughs> Well, I think it it works pretty awesome. Maybe see I had I had a Rode video mic in my shopping cart on Amazon Prime Day. And I think Sennheiser might have hacked my Amazon and saw that and they're like, oh crap, send him one, send him one. I think that might have been what happened. I, I didn't find anything I really wanted to splurge on. I did. It's right there. The internet's gonna hate me. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's an Xbox guys. It's Watch a, out. It's a, the Division version. Oh, you're going to have fun with that. I'm just um, kidding. I'm being sarcastic. <laughs> <laughs> no, I bought that on, on Amazon Prime Day because I feel bad that we're always downstairs watching TV or something. And little Jay wants to play on her like Lego games and stuff. Um, so instead of bringing the Xbox downstairs up here, because every now and then I want to play downstairs on the, on the nice TV, I was like, well, I'll get another Xbox for cheap and we'll put it up here. And that way, I can bring my account over here, and when he comes over and we play Forza or whatever, we can play up here if the wife's down there watching TV or vice versa. It solved problems. Or when no one else is here, we can use both of them. 
I didn't even think about that. If you want to know the truth, we have to do it with a split screen. Yeah, we could just do live. I kind of really want to fart, but I'm like holding it. I'm, I'm waiting for you to fart first. I've been farting. Oh. So someone's probably already noticed too that I said I was using a Cooler Master S524 cooler, but this is clearly not a Cooler Master fan that is on there. And uh, you're right, I took off the um, Silencio fan that comes with it, and I put on a Fractal Venturi for a 140 millimeter fan. This is a 120, and it doesn't cover the full surface area of the cooler, which I think is weird. I don't know why they didn't just ship it with the 140 version on their own cooler that supports a 140. Um, so yeah, I put that on there just to kind of give it a little bit more cooling capacity, if you will. Cooling capacity. That sounded so weird. You're suddenly Jamaican. <laughs> I don't know. God. How does a Jamaican say Pokemon? Pokemon. You should use like a carbon filter. But not every time. On your butt. <laughs> no, you're not always immune to it. <laughs> or just like a Febreze filter, you know? A Febreze filter? Would like it work if you butt. like... So every time I fart, it's like, bur it's like Febreze. Yeah. So every time you go, it smells so fresh in here, you realize, wait, Jay farted. Yeah. Poof. Yeah, that's kind of neat. So we got two fans blowing in right here directly on the cooler, so that's going to help in cooling. And I think the open vents right here too with the 80 millimeter um, fan slots right here are going to help with some of that heat to kind of be able to make it its way there so it's not going to swirl around in there. Uh -huh. We'll have the graphics card right here so it's going to be semi-compartmentalized. Um, this guy actually goes right here like that so it's cross-member support. And this is also where the um, where the, where the hard drive cage is attached to. You look lost. No, I was trying to see if I thought there would be enough room right here for me to route this like behind the power supply to come up. Oh, gotcha. Right there. I don't know why I'm so worried about the cable management in this thing because it's not gonna show, but I care. I mean, look, look at the cable management I'm doing in this thing. It's something you can't even see. <laughs> like I've got things wired under the motherboard. I've got fan wires here routed in a way that you can't see them. I care about these things. This sounds like an episode of Monster Garage. Mm. Don't you dare, you son of a bitch. Uh-oh, that's what happens when you try to fit a 1200 <laughs> inside of the HTPC. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'll just see myself out then. See it. It looks like it fits. Yeah, but this is just a test fit, because I need to see I put this on here. We're gonna have any sort of interference with these guys. I don't think I will, though. Nope, because they hang out way back here. Oh, well, you're fine. But the power connector. Uh oh. So I'm gonna have to do it right here. Like that. Barely fits right there. But yeah, you can't even use that one. Power connector is not gonna. That kind of sucks. But oh well. See, this PSU is nice and short. Oh god, that looks like a minefield over there. <laughs> Serious? Yeah. I feel sad. That you can't run SLI? Mm, I mean, I could. A 750 watt would actually power two 1080s. But yeah, I do. I did want to run SLI 1080s in here because for VR, it does matter. You can run graphics cards per eye. And you can hit that 90 hertz, which is that magic sweet spot for VR. Can you do me a favor? Yeah. <laughs> can you go into the shop? Okay. Not the shop, the office, and get the other wireless that's sitting on the desk. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Not here. Oh, 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 oh. Found it. Right here. Yeah, I'll take those just in case and one stuff. And then boom. Whoa. Are you done yet? Almost. But just when you deal with a case like this, there's a certain order to things that they have to go together. Like a puzzle? Pretty much. I hate puzzles. Ay ay ay. Come on. Come on, that was so good. Jeez, that's tight. You wanna say it so badly. <laughs> Hey, why are you making this so easy, though? Most home theater PCs don't have, like, full-length 
multi-fan graphics cards going in them. So if I had a short graphics card, then I could use the hanger. Damn, I could get the tape started. Then I could use the hangers and not have any sort of in- interference with the graphics card. Mm-hmm. But now what I'm going to do here is I'm quite literally just going to... And I really should be putting in a better hard drive right now for this, but... Wait, we went to Market Center. Did yeah, you... I got that three terabyte one there. Go ahead and get it. Where is that? It's in the closet. Okay. Because I can I can copy the Steam library off of this on my 512 gig um, pocket SSD from Vision Tech, and then I can transfer it back over to the new drive. So it's so much heavier. I've seen some people cringe at the thought of using double-sided tape to mount this stuff. Damn it, if this stuff is good enough to hold panels on cars that are driving down the freeway, it can hold a freaking hard drive to the side of a metal case. That's all I'm saying. Especially when it's not moving. But the hard drive's moving. Platter is spinning. The hard drive itself is technically not moving. Technically. Air quotes. I built plenty of computers with double-sided tape. Okay. I never had an issue. I trust you. Mr. I'm going to sound like a YouTube comment right now. That's so not going anywhere. <laughs> oh god, don't stop. Just, <laughs> just put it down. <laughs> That's not going anywhere. I'm, I, I'm concerned about getting that off now. <laughs> if I know the truth. You should use a spatula. Jeez. Oh, there. <laughs> okay, so does that prove my point? I cringed just a little bit. <laughs> the hard drive breaks in two. No. Oh, I shouldn't have got the one on sale. <laughs> you know what would make the case look good? If the cover was on it. What? It's like 1201, 1204, whatever. I'm allowed to be this tired. Moment of truth. Something's working. Everything lit up. The Gigabyte lit up yellow, like, automatically by itself. Oh, no, it's going green. I think it's doing color shift stuff. Oh, it's going turquoise. <gasps> Look, we got a post. Oh, my gosh. Congrats. And we got Windows booting up. Where's the QC sticker? All right, so everything's done. It's a couple days later, actually. Here's the entertainment center right there. Yep, that's an Xbox One, deal with it. I've got my Sennheiser RS-175 wireless, um, I guess they'd be, they classify them as audiophile, but they're home theater headphones, they're hooked up to the TV, and then I've got the case right there, all in its glory. Now, one of the reasons why I did this was, if you look at the play area here I have for the HTC Vive, it's a pretty big, wide open space, and I wanna take advantage of that. The problem was, when I had the computer over here, next to the racing simulator, the cord had to come diagonal. So as it came that way, you would hit the end of it over here, and it would pull on your headset or you'd trip on it. But what I also did, as you can see, is I moved it to right there. The, the actual hookups. This is a blurry finger. The actual hookups for the Vive are right there. So now, as the cord comes out into the middle of the room, you've got easy access to all of the giant area here that you can use for the HTC Vive. But it's kind of neat because I've got this hooked up right here to um, the TV, obviously. But because I have the optical for this coming from the TV, whatever's playing from the TV, whether it be PC or Xbox or TV, um, you know, like a satellite, will play through the headphones. So little Jay could be up here watching um, TV and not disrupting anybody. Same thing with anyone playing on the PC or playing on the Xbox. The other cool thing is once the PC is on, and you're in VR, you can control all of the Steam menus from inside VR. So you don't need the monitor, or in this case, the TV, to control it. So someone could be playing VR, and someone else could be playing the Xbox One, um, you know, sitting over here to the side, and can see the TV just fine, while someone else is playing VR, and they can be using the headset and hear what the Xbox is doing. So you could actually have someone playing on the PC, in VR, and playing on the console at the same time. Oh, and something else I got was a Logitech um, G602 wireless gaming mouse. Pretty much lag free. Heard a lot of great things about that mouse, so I bought that. And then I also bought this Logitech wireless keyboard. Um, nothing flashy, nothing fancy, just so that you can control it while you're sitting on the couch and be lazy and don't have to get up. 
The other thing you can see is I took the monitor off of here. There's no point in having the monitor anymore. Everything's wired down here to a USB extension and a power cord so that when I do want to use the racing sim in VR like Project Cars, then I can pull it out here more into the middle of the room, plug it into the front of the computer uh, because the Node 605 has this little fold out, little flip down right here and it's got a card reader and USB. Um, then I can do that. And then when I want, I can push it out of the way. Part of the problem was when this thing was sitting diagonal like it was, it also protruded out into the play area, which I didn't like. But I just received word from Fnatic that they will send me um, their racing setup with the wheel and pedals and shifter and e-brake and, and all that stuff. So this is going to be getting reworked again. And I'm probably going to get a different racing simulator frame, a um, little higher quality one to go with the higher quality components. Anyway, that's that, guys. Just a quick, easy vlog. Um, I figured since I was doing the build and the changes anyway, I might as well at least take you guys along for the ride. So anyway, thanks for watching. Um, hope you guys like the gaming setup. It's kind of nice to have friends come over now, family, they can come up here and play. We actually have a dedicated playroom, um, like an adult playroom, which is kind of nice. Not that kind of playroom. You know what I'm trying to say. I'm going to get out of here before I say anything else that's stupid. All right, guys, talk to you in the next one.